But this wasn't because of music. This is just, see, I'm dabbling on again. I was fucking 15 minutes of just talking about shit. I'm talking about my music career. I guess this is part of it too. I guess this is where I, I ended, got today. I just, I lost my girlfriend or we broke up and met other girls and then, and then ended up dating other girls and just shit like that. I wouldn't say all of them were bad because they weren't. A um, couple very successful and a couple that went downhill, but then came the fuck back up, you know? Like, that's mad respect, you know? Like, I'm grateful for that, you know? And then I have had some that kind of are still not doing right. Shout out to all my ex-girlfriends that, you know, were in a hard place at a time and you know, made something out of it and just really did good and just changed, you know, or even the ones that were good that just kept doing good. I'm proud of you, you know, good shit. But it's like, uh, so that happened then after that, um, you know, I just started just doing a lot of shit, you know, I'd pop pills, you know, and then got into drinking. I stopped doing cough medicine. So from about 19 to 22, I did a bunch of random drugs and just nonsense, just fooling around with a bunch of girls and just fucking around, fucking my life up. Didn't stop there, you know, of course, you know, I just added on to it when I got here. You know, I just ugh, fucking live my life. I could say one thing, I've been, God, I've never overdosed on any substances. I've never, you know, I'm pretty sure I probably needed my stomach pumped a couple times, but never did. And then, you know, just shit like that. And I mean, other people have been through hella worse. So I'm not saying I'm some fucking major drug, you know, I was doing like hard shit all the time, even though I kind of was, but I wasn't, I don't know, I just, I knew when to stop. I don't know, I just knew, all right, I'm done with that. You know, I'd be so fucked up that I would even realize, nah, I'm good, like, but alcohol, no, I didn't, I didn't keep drinking. But yeah, so about till 22, you know, just partying, you know, getting lit all the time, making music, then I moved back here. So we moved back, um, pretty much just, start all over you know and just now i'm 22 living down here and i'm thinking oh i could see my old friends again i could you know hang out with them and you know it did work at first you know i came back met up with my homie paul from fucking the fucking lime wire days yeah you know, fucking met up with him and God bless his soul. Um, R.I.P. Paul, man, passed away last year um, uh, over some ignorant shit that other people just do. But on, on to the story. <laughs> uh, met up with him again. We started chilling. We were doing shit, man. We were doing shrooms, fucking hanging out, you know. It was fun again it was you know it was like the bad old days you know drinking doing shrooms let me just clear this up so when i say drinking and doing shrooms like the old days um i didn't mean drinking and doing shrooms like the old days i meant just hanging out in general like the old days thought i'd clear that up um my boy jd came down from chicago i meet my boy jd while i'm living in Illinois still. This is about 21, 20, 21 ish. And we become real cool. And uh, he just, you know, was, you know, he wanted to rap and stuff like that too. So we started rapping and, you know, shit like that. And ended up being, 
you know, really cool when fucking I moved away. And then I had him come down. You know, this is how fucked up my life, you know, my mind was. I was just like, yeah, just come move down here. You know, I just, I had no plan. I was just like, yeah, not even tell my parents. Fucking uh, ignorant, bro. I mean, it, and then I found a new place and moved there and, just left him at my fucking parents' house. So stupid, bro. Like, what the fuck was wrong with me? But I'm growing, you know, and I grew past that. I feel like shit for doing it, and I appreciate um, him even still talking to me after that. And just, it, it's, we always have something, because he met, met Paul when he was down here as well, and that's the only person that I have connection to that can actually just be like, yeah, I know, I know how it is. Like, I mean, I got other people too, like people I used to live by that I talked to, but we hung out again, you know, like he he understood Paul, you know, and he, he heard our stories from the past. So I'm grateful for that. So, meet Paul when I'm down here with JD it's cool it was fun and then we just hung out and now we're about 22 um, still fooling around you know fucking around uh, and drinking all the time stupid shit man I didn't stop drinking until I was 28 um, I'm almost 30 now 22 still wild one making music met my boy won online. I think I was about 24 at that time. 24 or 25. Not much happened besides partying and drinking until I was about 24, 25 ish. Then it got more interesting again. Started meeting online people. Uh, met my best friend, Deadly Boy, Juan. Met him online, even met in person and shit. You know, that was later on. He came down here and visited. You know, just, uh, I've been, been doing this music shit. <laughs> you know, I fucked with a lot of people, man. And I'm just remembering more as I go. I kind of just go and just doing it. You know, no written shit, just kind of just talking. Just to see what I remember as I talk. And, you know, I'm sorry if I'm going over here with this and then I'm over here and I'm talking about this. Cause I'm just remembering shit. And if you guys don't want to listen to it all, I mean, you can skip through stuff like that or don't watch it, plain and simple. I do appreciate everybody that is sitting here watching it or watching it and listening to what I got to say. I mean, I don't really talk to people, man. You know, it's just, this is what I got. I got my dad, you know, I got family. Don't get me wrong, but I can just let it out like this right now with no judgment at the moment. <laughs> and uh, grateful that I met the people that I've met. So we're gonna skip to about 26 now. I'm still drinking, partying, going hardcore. I'm not really, I'm not doing lean and really popping pills or anything. I'm just straight drinking. At this point, I started dabbling into other stuff. It got to a point where I was just like, I would party so much and just get so fucking crazy. And not crazy as in the sense of wild, like beat people up, but didn't care and other people like or, that were with me were like what the fuck are you doing they're getting wild and <clears throat> i just really saw me going down a bad path at points i just didn't care because i liked <clears throat> what i liked having a like a reasoning like to just be happy like i, I like i felt like Oh, man, go to work, all right, and fucking kill the day at work, you know, boom, boom, boom. That was my goal to go home and just go on the internet and get fucked up with people, you know, that was my thing. I would have days I wouldn't go on the internet. I would still drink, but it'd be kind of hard for me to drink. I always had that mindset like, oh, you can't sleep unless you drink, you know, and just shit like that. And I always fucked myself up by thinking that. It just led to a point where, you know, I 
people would say stuff to me. Like, I wouldn't remember, and I'd be like, oh, I'm fucking done. Like, I'm dumb, you know, and I, I lost a lot of people that I cared about, and it sucks. You know, I've, I'm grateful that I still have people in my life that, you know, held on to me while I was going down that journey, you know. I appreciate y'all. 28 hits. <clears throat> I'm just like, COVID starts being an issue. And I'm already at this point where I've <clears throat> tried to quit drinking a couple times. And I just had no reason to just stop. It's not like my kidney was fucking failing or, you know, I just, I didn't really have a, a reason. It was just like, oh, I just need to stop doing this because it's bad. So I went like a couple times, like a month and then like two months another time. And then it would never be like, when I start again, I would just drink every once in a while. I'd, I'd go straight back to just bow, bow, bow. So <clears throat> it took me like like a year to really be like, all right. Because one of my buddies, <clears throat> we talked. And we, when he came down here, we even had a week when we didn't drink and shit. Like just to show that you know, we don't need this shit. You know, just keep our mind busy on something else. Let's make some music. It wasn't anything like that so he he quit and I quit at the same time then about two months later I said fuck that I'm drinking again because I feel good you know I feel fine what I thought and then COVID started coming around again and I started really thinking I don't want to get sick and if I get sick I can get my mom sick and I just really started thinking shit and I already had the plan of quitting now I have a reason and then I quit because of COVID I guess that was my I didn't want to get my mom sick I didn't want to get myself sick I knew I had more to live for I had to grow up it's been almost two years in March that would be the date of being sober. But I do want to be honest. I have drank in that period of time. <gasps> I know. I'm sorry. It's not nothing to laugh at. Because the people that saw me um, do that shit would not really like that at all. They'd be thinking, what the fuck? Which is totally understandable. But um, I just want to be honest, you know? Uh, I drank on Thanksgiving of last year. And this is, this is not drinking for so March of 2020. And I didn't drink again until November 2021 on Thanksgiving. And I had a daiquiri. So I was like, I was worried, but I always had like this thing on my shoulder where I was like, you know, like, not that I wanted to drink. It was never that. It was just, I hate being that I can't drink, you know, like I hate that. Like I want to be able to drink whenever, you know, or, you know, is is just not for me. You know, I needed to figure this out. Because there was something bothering me. So I drank that drink. And that made me realize from having that one drink that I could stop whenever. And go without drinking or without thinking about drinks. And that changed my whole perspective on shit. And that made me realize, holy shit, you can have one drink and be cool be sociable and just it made me realize a lot you know and it was just I don't know it was just weird to me but yeah I just wanted to be honest with everybody that I did that and then I drank again the day after no I'm just kidding <laughs> but I did drink again since that time and that's when I was on my vacation last time and I drank with one of my buddies Kimball we drank these hard seltzers and uh he can even tell you you know i just 
not not a partier like I used to be. I just don't have it in me anymore, you know. I, I'll be honest, I tried, I drank. You know, I drank and we went out to the bar, um, hung out for like an hour there. The next day, I felt like complete shit. I could not do anything. Like, I was, like, I was like, fuck, my vacation's ruined. Like, I'm, I'm in this hotel room for another day and they probably plan on hanging out or doing something. I couldn't even do that. So that, that was, that's another realization right there where I'm just like, nah, you can't do this anymore, bro. You, you can, but you can't, you know, you can't do that. You can't fucking drink and party, you know, you can't. But you can get buzzed every once in a while or have a couple fucking drinks. And don't mix shit up. <laughs> I just wanted to get that off my chest. And, you know, I know this was about my rap life, but hey, I wanted to talk about that too. And for everybody that stayed and listened, I appreciate that. But so, 29 now. Or no, I was 27 when I quit drinking. I lied. 29 now. I'm 29 now. About to be 30 in August. past two years or year and a half have been so rough on my life and just and so good at the same time it sucks I shouldn't say it sucks but it was hard because well it does suck because in April I lost my mom <clears throat> that could have drove me into you know getting fucked up and crazy all the time, right? No. I had, I have sense, you know? Something my mom gave me. So, that was rough. Then, just, I really was like, I need to just do my passion, man. I just, I can't be living like this. Like, I can't, because I was sober, I was good, but I was just missing something. And I'm just like, what the fuck am I missing? It's this, it's this, it's this. I need to make music, I need to entertain, I need to be an influencer, I need to do that. So I'm so grateful that this year I've been able to quit my nine to five job, company jobs, to maintain my own work. I still do DoorDash. And I'm not gonna lie, probably pays a good amount of my bills most of the time. But I'm working. And I'm building. And I'm doing all that. I'm not rich at all, near it. You see my numbers, if you see my numbers on Instagram, Spotify, stuff like that. That don't pay shit. And I mean it pays, but it's it's hard to get paid, you know, when you get demonetized on things and people can't really see your stuff and you no know, shit like that. That sucks. I'm trying to get monetized on YouTube now, but I'm not even I'm not even gonna stress about it because that's not the whole reason I want to be here. That's just a fucking plus. That's that's just helping. I want to be here and talk with y'all because I know some of you out there are exactly mentally how I am, you know, and just some of y'all just grew up in the same scenario. Some of y'all just can relate in these situations and just stuff like that. And there's some stuff I can't talk about, but I mean, it's just, you know, my music career has been my life, you know, I, I lived, I'm still living a music career, I lived the famous life without being famous, you know what I'm saying, like, fucking bitches, you know, shit like that, like, I had my popular time, and I'm getting my face out there again, my name out there again, this time, not local stance of Illinois, 
in the suburbs, but worldwide now, you know, and I pat myself on the back for that, you know, it's just, you got to be consistent, you guys, you got to bust ass, you know, you got to, you know, you got to bust ass, you just work, just do what you love and do it all the time. Whenever you have time, do what you love. Every single second that you're not sleeping or working, do what you love because you're only going to get better at it and you're being consistent on it. So people are going to start noticing it and you love doing it and that's how you become your own boss and that's how you become that's how you build a dream you know everything's not gonna fall right in your fucking lap it's not but you gotta figure it out and it took me a while to figure that out because i'm like what the hell do i do well, yeah i make music but i can't talk to people i'm fucking scared socially oh jeez, can't fucking free <laughs> but you know there's ways internet fuck that's been a huge help you know and then i connect with people and then i'm on a connection where i'm like if we meet in person i'm gonna be fucking cool with this dude or chick or whatever and we're gonna be straight no fucking awkwardness or anything because we know each other on a different level and you know i've been better about you know talking to people in person too but yeah i'm not the type to just hand out my mixed day I just, I'm not, um, but, you know, here I am today, 29 years old, about to be 30, started when I was 13 years old making music, 13 to 30, you know, it's like a fucking, it's the movie, and it, and finally, something's coming out of it, it could have happened way sooner, but I let a lot of that shit get in my way. Um, and just, you know, I had people that tried to help me, you know, multiple times and just, I didn't want that. Um, I'm still alive, still breathing, still striving, still able to get up, walk, wake up every morning early as fuck for no reason. Well, for reasons, but, and you know, so I'm here for a reason still. So I'm going to do what I love and that's going to be my job till I die. You know, I mean, anything can happen, of course, but I'm going to grind. I'm going to strive. I'm going to just keep doing it and, you know, just hope for the best, you know, I, I have great feelings you know i know my mom's right here next man i know paul's right here next man i know everybody my grandma my grandpa everybody that has passed away that my loved ones are right here with me telling me get the fuck up and go fucking do this shit bro maybe not exact words but maybe <laughs> but anyways guys i do appreciate y'all it this went from like me talking about my music to how I manage my life to where I am now. But it connects because the music had a lot to do with it. You know, a lot of music is who I am, you know, and that's why I am the way I am today. So once again, I appreciate y'all. If you can please drop a like, I'd be much appreciated. And if you can subscribe, if you haven't already, um, share the video, if you can, Facebook, Instagram, wherever, uh, print it out, post it. No, I'm just playing, but, uh, I appreciate you guys listening once again, and, uh, I'm out.